Good morning, PR. My name is Miguel McAlintal. And I'm Garrison Smith. Thanks for tuning in. In this week's show, Mark stopped by Palmer Lake for a good old Easter egg hunt. Grace shined some light on our senior gifts this year. And lastly, Dylan took a closer look at the three lakes that make up the Tri Lakes area. As usual, we have some announcements for you guys, so listen up. First of all, Ridgeline would like to join in celebrating Palmer Ridge Robotics team's success at the World Robotics Championship in Houston, Texas earlier this month. After winning the Colorado Regional Championship in March, the Bear Robotics team qualified for the top 50%. That's more than 4,000 teams from around the world. Forty countries participated in the world competition, where PR finished with a 6-4 record. So let's congratulate Angela Grayson, James York, Carson Swevlin, Cameron Hinkle, Sarah Sorson, and advisor Craig Johnson. It's also worth noting that more than $80 million worth of scholarships are available to participants. So if you might be interested in joining the robotics team, keep an eye out for kickoff announcements in the fall. Also, all library books are due by May 10th at 3 p.m. Your school textbooks are also due by the end of the week of finals. Lastly, PPCC representatives will be here at PR on May 1st to help any seniors sign up for PPCC classes. Please sign up now in Neighborhood A with Ms. Wall if you're interested. With that all over the way, let's get into the show. Easter's a time for family and it's full of happy little traditions that spread the positive message. And I'm really jealous to say that Mark was able to come out and go on an Easter egg hunt. Over the Easter weekend, Vanguard Church partnered with the city of Palmer Lake to make a fun event for the whole family. Designed to provide a safe, casual, and fun afternoon event, the Easter celebration included music, an egg hunt, and even an appearance by the volunteer fire department. There's families just hanging out on the lawn, eating candy, connecting, talking, so it brings the whole community together um, over a special time of year, which is leading up to Easter. The egg hunt is free, open to all families, and it's set to happen again next year outside the Palmer Lake Town Hall. Be sure to capture the Easter egg hunt next year. For Ridgeline, this is Mark Wilkins. Great job, Mark. Hopefully you'll actually invite me to go next time you do something this fun. The senior, class, the senior class of 2019 is getting ready to get out of here, but not without leaving a gift to remember them by. Grace is here to show us what exactly that gift is. Most students utilize former senior gifts. Let's take a look at what Student Council has in store for us this year. Some former senior gifts include the water bottle fillers in the hallways, the computer table in the library, and the event board on the west side of campus. This year, Student Council focused on the students' privacy and convenience. Although not yet in use, the Student Council plans to apply stickers covering the floor-to-ceiling windows on the bridge, connecting the academic wing to the art wing to provide a non-penetrable view from the outside, but an unaffected view from the inside, so students can enjoy the view, but outsiders cannot see inside the school. The second part of the senior gift includes an ATM placed on the upper level of the lunchroom to provide easy access for students to grab cash for lunch or other school activities. Um, so the ATM too, um, it's just it's nice to get money out whenever you need to. If you want to go off for lunch, like upperclassmen, you can get some money for food. And uh, if you ever need money or need to go print something in the library, sometimes they're kind of strict about that, you can get money whenever you need to. The majority of the student body will utilize these gifts, and we have student council to thank for it. For Ridgeline, this is Grace Guerin. Well, too bad you guys are leaving so soon. We're all going to miss you. Thanks, Grace. I'm sure we're all familiar with the Tri Lakes area. It has miles of great hiking, biking, and wildlife watching paths for your outdoor enjoyment. So Dylan got a little drive and got a closer look at the three lakes that the area is named after. Good morning, Palmer Ridge. I'm sure most of us live around in the Tri Lakes area, but I had a question. What exactly are the three lakes that make up the Tri Lake area? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that. A lot of people live in the Tri Lakes area, but not a lot of people know about all three lakes. Here is Palmer Lake, a wonderful place where kids can play and public restrooms. There's also Monument Lake, a gigantic lake in the heart of Monument in which everybody can enjoy fish and boat around. I mean, you know, it's nice. I like living here. It's pretty, it's quaint, but it's still close enough to Denver that you can drive up there if you want to get a taste of the city. Then there is Lake Woodmore, a lake up near Lewis Palmer Elementary School. It's a nice place for all the rich folks to get away a little bit. From Ridgeline, this is Dylan Hutchinson. You guys better go out and make the most out of the sunshine while you can, because I know we're all going to miss it when the cold winter comes back. Thanks, Dylan. 
Now that we're at the end, tail end of the school year, thank God, the sun's been coming out and shining lately. Let's see if the warm is here to stay for the week. Today we are in Mrs. King's room with her American history class. Well, last week we had lots of rainy weather, but this week it will be warming up a bit, starting on Wednesday and lasting through the end of the week. Well, looking at the radar, we can see the precipitation in the northwest that will cause some rain late Monday and part of Tuesday. Luckily, this will pass over quickly and the rest of the week should be nice. The five day shows that this week will start off with some light showers early on and later we will have lots of sun. This week will be in the high 50s to mid 60s. Well, Bears, thankfully it's going to start feeling a lot more like summer, so let's enjoy it before it changes. Back to y'all in the studio. At least we have some good weather as we work our way through the end of the year. Well, that's all we got for you guys. Thanks for watching, and make sure you finish the year strong.